For years, Linux was seen as the operating system only hardcore programmers, hackers, and system administrators used. It was something mysterious, something difficult. Something most people believed required a computer science degree just to install. But the world has changed, technology has evolved, and suddenly Linux is no longer the secret underground system it once was. It has become powerful, beautiful, user-friendly, and shockingly reliable. And today, more people than ever, from students to gamers to creators to professionals, are switching to Linux, not because they are forced to, but because they genuinely prefer it. Something big is happening. Linux is taking over, and this shift isn't temporary. It's becoming a global movement driven by frustration, innovation, freedom, and the search for a better digital life. The story begins with a growing dissatisfaction that people have with the traditional operating systems. As the years go by, Windows has become heavier, more bloated, and filled with features nobody asked for. Constant background processes, tracking systems, advertisements, inside the start menu. Forced updates that restart your PC at the worst possible moment, and security issues that seem to appear every few weeks. Users are tired of fighting with their own computer just to get basic tasks done. Windows is no longer the straightforward operating system it once was. Instead, it has become a platform that pushes services, subscriptions, and integrations that benefit the company more than the user. And then there's macOS, a polished and beautiful system, no doubt, but locked behind expensive hardware, closed ecosystems, and limited customization. Apple makes incredible devices, but not everyone can afford or justify spending so much money just to have a stable and clean computing experience. People want freedom without sacrificing quality. They want performance without being forced into an ecosystem. They want control without needing to be a tech expert. That is exactly the gap Linux is stepping in to fill. Linux today is nothing like the Linux of 10 or 15 years ago. Back then, installing it felt like a risky experiment. Drivers wouldn't work, Wi-Fi would break, apps were limited, and the interfaces were rough and inconsistent. Today, the situation is completely different. Modern Linux distributions like Ubuntu, Fedora, Linux Mint, Pop, Underscore OS, Zorin OS, Manjaro, and Deepin look as polished as Mac OS and run faster than Windows. They are smooth, modern, and easy to use. Most of them can be installed with a few clicks, detect your hardware automatically, and boot in seconds even on old laptops. Linux has matured into a world-class desktop operating system not just for developers, but for students, creators, gamers, office workers, and casual users. For many people, it feels like discovering a fresh, clean world after years of using systems that are slow, cluttered, and filled with restrictions. And once they experience that freedom, they don't want to go back. Another major reason Linux is taking over is speed and performance. It is no secret that Linux runs faster than Windows on almost every type of hardware. You can take a laptop from 2012, install a lightweight Linux distro like Zubuntu or Linux Lite, and suddenly, it feels brand new. The system boots faster, apps open instantly, and the overall experience is unbelievably smooth. Windows, on the other hand, gets slower with each update. It pushes more background services, collects more data, and uses far more RAM even when idle. Many people are shocked when they discover that Linux can run beautifully with just 2 or 4 gigabytes of RAM, while Windows struggles even with 8. The difference is night and day. People are not switching to Linux because it is trendy. They're switching because it genuinely gives them better performance, better efficiency, and better battery life. On older hardware, it feels like a miracle. On newer hardware, it feels like unlocking the full power of your machine without the system holding it back. But performance is only part of the story. The real power of Linux is control. For the first time, users can decide what their operating system should be. They are not forced to accept ads in the start menu, forced updates, lockdown settings, or pre-installed apps. Linux gives you the freedom to customize everything from the way your desktop looks to the way your system behaves. You can change your theme, your icons, your window layout, your panel, your animations, your file manager, and even the entire desktop environment you can make it look like Windows, Mac OS, Chromos, or something totally unique. For creative users, this level of customization feels liberating. For professionals, it means building a workflow that fits them perfectly. And for privacy-conscious users, it means finally having a system that respects their choices. 
This is something other operating systems simply don't offer. Privacy has become one of the biggest reasons people are switching to Linux. In a world where companies try to collect as much data as possible, Linux stands almost alone as an operating system that does not track you. It does not monitor your behavior, does not spy on your usage patterns, does not send data to corporations, and does not include hidden telemetry processes. When you use Linux, your computer belongs to you not, the company that created it. This is a refreshing change for people who are tired of feeling like they are being monitored online. For journalists, activists, business owners, and everyday users who want digital independence, Linux is the safest and most transparent option available. And then there's gaming, the one area Linux used to struggle in. Today, that has completely changed. Thanks to technologies like Proton and Steam Play, thousands of Windows games now run on Linux with excellent performance. In many cases, games run smoother on Linux than on Windows due to better system optimization. Elves. Steam Deck, which runs a Linux-based OS, has played a massive role in proving to the world that Linux can handle gaming beautifully. Millions of people are playing on Linux without even realizing it, and developers are increasingly optimizing their games for Linux because they see the future shifting in that direction. With every update, the compatibility grows, the performance gets better, and the community becomes stronger. The barrier that once kept gamers away from Linux is disappearing rapidly. Another factor driving the Linux revolution is the rise of cloud computing, web-based applications, and cross-platform tools. A decade ago, people relied on Windows-only or macOS-only software to get work done. Today, most essential tools, Google Workspace, Microsoft Office, Online, Canva, Zoom, Slack, Discord, Spotify, VS Code, and more work perfectly on Linux. Even professional software like Blender, DaVinci, Resolve, GIMP, Krita, and Inkscape are either native to Linux or work flawlessly through compatibility layers. This means the average user no longer needs a specific operating system to run their favorite apps. The internet itself has become the platform and Linux integrates with it easily. As a result, users feel less tied to Windows or Mac OS and more empowered to choose the system that aligns with their values and needs. Yet one of the most beautiful things about Linux and one of the biggest reasons it's taking over is the community. This isn't just a group of users. It's a global network of developers, enthusiasts, artists, and creators who work together, share ideas, build tools, fix problems, and help newcomers. Unlike corporate controlled platforms, Linux is built by people for people. It is shaped by passion rather than profit. When someone switches to Linux, they don't just change their operating system, they join a worldwide movement focused on openness, knowledge sharing, and digital freedom. And this sense of belonging inspires people to stay. As more people experience Linux for the first time, something interesting happens. They realize how refreshing it feels to use a system that doesn't nag them, doesn't try to upsell them, doesn't push ads, and doesn't burden them with constant interruptions. When you open a Linux desktop, you're greeted by a clean, simple, and organized interface. There's no pop-up telling you to sign in, no forced cloud integration, no constant reminders to install unnecessary apps, and no background programs eating your memory. Instead, everything feels intentional, calm, and efficient. It gives users the feeling that their computer is finally working for them, not the other way around. That sense of digital peace is something many people didn't even realize they were missing until they discovered Linux, and once they feel it, going back becomes extremely difficult. One of the biggest transformations happening today is that people are no longer afraid of Linux. For decades, Linux carried the reputation of being complicated, technical, and unfriendly for beginners. But modern Linux distributions have demolished that myth. Installing apps is now easier than ever, thanks to app stores like GNOME Software, Discover, and Integrated Package Managers. Many distros even offer universal packaging formats like Flatpak, Snap, and AppImage, which ensure apps run consistently across different systems. Instead of hunting for installers online or dealing with unknown websites, users can browse secure repositories and install everything with a single click. Even the command line, once feared by newcomers, has become a powerful tool that many grow to appreciate because it makes tasks faster and more controlled. Linux no longer feels like the system for experts only. It feels like a system for everyone who wants a clean, reliable, customizable computing experience. 
Another reason Linux is winning people over is its stability. Traditional operating systems tend to degrade over time. Windows becomes sluggish. Mac OS sometimes suffers from odd glitches after updates. Both systems can break when new versions are released. Linux, on the other hand, has distributions designed to prioritize stability above everything else. Systems like Debian, Ubuntu, LTS, OpenSUS eLeap, and Linux Mint are engineered to run for years without major issues. Updates are predictable, safe, and transparent. Users don't wake up to a completely redesigned interface or unexpected changes that break their workflow. Everything about Linux stability tells users you are in control. This sense of reliability builds trust, and that trust is one of the reasons people stay. Then comes one of the most underrated reasons behind the Linux takeover, choice. Unlike Windows and Mac OS, which give users only one official version of their operating system, Linux offers dozens of options, all tailored for different needs. Want something lightweight for an old PC? There's Lubuntu, Anti-X, or Linux Lite. Want something beautiful? There's Deepin, Zorin OS, or KDE Plasma. Prefer something powerful and customizable? Try Arch Manjaro or Fedora. Need enterprise-grade stability? OpenSUSE or RHEL-based distros are right there. This variety means that no matter who you are, a gamer, an artist, a programmer, a student, or just a casual user, there is a Linux distribution built specifically for you. This level of personalization doesn't exist anywhere else in the operating system world. And once people start exploring these choices, they realize something important. Computing doesn't have to be one size fits. Another major shift happening right now is with developers and tech professionals. More developers than ever are choosing Linux as their primary operating system because it aligns perfectly with the tools and workflows modern development requires. Many programming languages, frameworks, and development tools run more smoothly on Linux due to its Unix-like architecture. Servers around the world run on Linux, cloud infrastructure is powered by Linux, and most DevOps tools are built with Linux in mind. When developers use Linux on the desktop, they get a consistent environment that matches the industry standard. This has created a wave of new tutorials, open source projects, and online content that makes Linux even more accessible to newcomers. With every new developer who adopts Linux, the ecosystem grows stronger. At the same time, companies are beginning to pay attention to the Linux movement. Major organizations like Valve, Google, IBM, Canonical, System76, and Red Hat are actively investing in Linux-based technologies. Valve is pushing the future of gaming on Linux. Google uses Linux as the base of Chrome OS. IBM has poured billions into open source and Linux infrastructure. System76 is building Linux-first hardware. These companies see the direction the world is moving, and they are preparing for a future where Linux is not, the alternative is the standard. Once big companies align with the technology, the momentum becomes almost unstoppable. Another surprising area where Linux is taking over is education, schools, universities and training centers around the world are switching to Linux-powered systems because they are cost-effective, secure, and flexible. Instead of paying expensive license fees, educational institutions can install Linux on hundreds of computers for free. Teachers and students get stable tools, coding environments, and productivity apps without dealing with system crashes or broken updates. For many young students, Linux becomes their first real computing experience, which means the next generation is growing up already familiar with open source systems. This shift alone is planting the seeds of a long-term global change. But perhaps the strongest reason Linux is spreading so rapidly is that people are becoming more aware of how closed and restrictive modern tech ecosystems have become. Whether it's operating systems that track everything, devices that can't be repaired, or software that forces users into subscriptions, people are reaching a breaking point. Privacy matters. Digital freedom matters. Ownership matters. Linux represents a different path, a path where users have full control, where software is transparent, and where communities help build the future together. It is no longer just an operating system. It is a philosophy of computing that resonates deeply with people who want more independence in the digital world. The most interesting part of this entire movement is that people don't switch to Linux because someone forces them. They switch because they try it once, and something clicks. They see the speed, they experience the clean interface, enjoy the stability, they feel the privacy, they appreciate the freedom. 
Suddenly, they realize they've been living with limitations they never had to accept. Linux gives them a system that respects them, and that feeling is powerful. And so the question becomes, is Linux really taking over? Are we witnessing a major shift in the world of personal computing? The truth is that Linux has already taken over in many places without people even noticing. Your phone, your TV, your car's dashboard, your home router, your smart devices, your servers, your cloud storage all powered by Linux. The final frontier is the desktop, and with every passing year, Linux grows closer to dominating that space as well. More users switch, or developers move, more companies invest, more hardware becomes compatible. The momentum builds and builds, and at some point the takeover becomes inevitable. The world is slowly waking up to the fact that there is a better, freer, more powerful way to use a computer. It doesn't require loyalty to a brand. It doesn't require expensive devices. It doesn't require giving up your privacy. Linux is not just taking over because it is good. It is taking over because people are finally ready for a system that puts them first. And this is only the beginning. As more people switch, as more developers contribute, as more companies embrace open source technologies, Linux will continue evolving into something even more extraordinary. The future of computing is open. The future is free. The future without a doubt is Linux.